We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here. Inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Northwest Florida State College for today's action. Our contest we're getting ready to enjoy is the Daytona State College taking on Eastern Florida State College. And now for our starting lineups. First, for Daytona State College, your visitor listed on the scoreboard. Edgard, a 5'4 sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida. Number two, Shayla Bowie. Edgard, a 5'8 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. Number three, Kamira Burks. And at forward, a 6'1 freshman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Number 11, Kiara Wheeler. And at forward, a 5'10 sophomore from Houston, Texas. Number 12, Blessing Oko. And at forward, a 5'10 sophomore from Kexmet, Hungary. Number 24, Odette Schleck. The athletics are coached by Ms. Tron Griffin. And now the starting lineup for the Titans of Eastern Florida State College. Edgard, a 5'5 freshman from Orlando, Florida. Number zero, Shadaria Smith. Edgard, a 5'5 freshman from Miami, Florida. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders. At forward, a 6'1 freshman from Madrid, Spain. Number 15, Rafalucci in Gorka. And at center, a 6'3 freshman from Sedibal, Portugal. Number 21, Anna Carolina de Jesus. And at guard, a 5'11 freshman from Emu Heights, Australia. Number 25, Tatiana Beaumont. The Titans are coached by MJ Baker.
Welcome in everybody to Raider Arena here on the campus of Northwest Florida State College. It is game one of the 2022 FCSAA NJSAA Region 8 women's side of the tournament. You have number two Eastern Florida Titans versus the number seven ranked Daytona State Falcons. We are in for a great day of women's basketball. We have all four games coming to you live here at Raider Arena in Niceville, Florida. I am Blake White alongside Essex Rhodes, Mike Wrightout, and our crew for Emerald Coast TV. Fellas, another, another day, another day of basketball. What are we looking forward to here on game two on the women's side? Well, it could be, uh, you know, David versus Goliath type situation today. Uh, Daytona State, obviously the underdog in this one against an Eastern Florida State club that well, they set several program records. Uh, program best 25. Well, that foul's going to be on the Titans. Uh, Number 11. This year, Caitlin 25 Sanders. wins. They finished 12 and 0 in the Central first. Conference. First Teams time in program first. history. They had a 13 game winning streak, the program's longest ever. Just a banner year for MJ Baker in his fifth year. He was also the Central Conference Coach of the Year. Daytona State finished 15 and 7. They started fast, ended faster, but their coach wasn't hired until August 5th. Well, we got our first points of the board there, 2-0. The Falcons are on the board. Here's Shadaria Smith turning the ball over, and it is recovered by Bowie. And Tron Griffin, by the way, the head coach of the Falcons. You know, we've seen the higher, or the lower seed, rather, get off to a good start. So that's going to be the key today for Daytona State College. Oh, did I say he? She. My apologies. Well, Coach, like yourself, we've uh, we haven't seen these ladies yet, so used to uh, the guys' games yesterday. All the he's. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So we're gonna have to ride with Mike's info on the the beginning, just get a feel, see how these ladies get, like to get up and down, or if they want to slow it down and run it out of a half court set. At the mm. buzzer, number 11, Caitlin, Caitlin Sanders. Sanders getting the Titans on the board for Eastern Florida. Left-hander scored 390 points this year. Mm. And here's a quick trigger pull from Beaumont. Can't get that to fall. The Falcons recover up the floor. Comes their point, Shayla Bowie directs traffic. Got a four low set, some cross action going on. Getting it down low to Kiera Wheeler. Skip pass out to Schley. She drives too hard off the glass there. And it's recovered by Ngorka. Well, coach, from the look of it, these ladies both, they like to get the ball across the half, and then they want to set it up in, oh, nice pull. No connection. They want to get into a half-court set. Again, like I say, they will push the tempo. There's Kamira Kamira Burks. Kamira Burks. She's the team's third leading scorer, the fourth leading rebounder. First in three-point field goal percentage, so she can score inside and out. Yeah, he just got away with that travel. You see Schley, she's guarding Smith, face guarding her, and wasn't even looking around to, to grab that to rebound. Grab that rebound, yes. I don't know if that's an assignment she has to keep Smith from getting hot. Deny, deny, deny. Mm -hmm. There's a deep three from Burks again, off target. Getting to the ground are both teams, and we got a jump ball. Stay Daytona State's ball. Now we've got some confusion over on which way the arrow is. 
You know, one of the challenges for Daytona State this year was they had to put things on halt due to COVID. They went 29 days before playing their next game. That certainly derailed any momentum they may have had early. I don't think this is an arrow issue. I think it's a clock, uh, a shot clock issue. Shot clock is out. So it'll be the Falcons ball on their baseline, but right now media table working on trying to get the shot clock back up. There we go. And the shot clock will be set to 18 seconds. 6.15 left in the first quarter. It's 4-2 to two Daytona up on Eastern Florida. Well, now they've changed it and reset the shot clock to 20. Four low set for the Falcons. Getting it over to Schley. She doesn't hit anything. It rolls right out of bounds. It'll be the Titans ball. See the Falcons trying to go a little man-to-man. -man. Schley is guarding Shadaria Smith very tightly. No help side, no deny at all. Caitlin matter, though, number Sanders. 11, Caitlin Sanders knocks down a three there and gives Eastern Florida their first lead of the night. Sanders hit seven three-pointers in a game three times this year. She is definitely their sharpshooter. That one had enough distance on it. You can tell that's in her resume. Oh, nice little... Uh, Kamira Burks. From Kamira Burks. Gives Daytona the lead again. So like we said at first, they were pushing the ball across the half, set it up in the half court set. Now these ladies are both getting it up and down the floor. Anna Carolina De Jesus gets tripped up. That foul is going to be on the athletics at number three, in Kamira this arena. Burks. That'll be her first. Years ago, she Teams was first. on the team with Coach Walker here at Northwest Florida. Now has found a home at Eastern Florida, her second year there. Eastern Florida is active on the glass. Got a lot of hands in there trying to keep this ball alive. This ball just goes straight out of bounds on the drive in. Burke not able to media timeout on the floor. And we're going to have our first media timeout. We're going to take a break ourselves. It's 6-5 Daytona State up on Eastern Florida. We'll be right back. You're watching Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here, inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. I'd like to thank our broadcast sponsors, Floors Premium Flooring. Floors.com is your premium online source of hardwood flooring, tile luxury vinyl, and woodproof flooring. We offer free flooring and wall covering consolations for your next remodel or new build. Contact them today at floors.com. That's floor, double Z, dot com. Getting back to this Falcons team. There are seven losses. They're 15 and seven coming in, but those seven losses was actually the least amount that they've had since the 2015-2016 season. First state tournament appearance since 2018-2019. They tied for the most conference wins since 2018-2019. So I don't want to say it's impossible for them to win today. I know I used the David versus Goliath reference, but obviously you're talking about the number 16 team in the country, Eastern Florida State. Uphill battle. They're just really good. Just an uphill battle, yes, basically. Exactly. Yes. Hey, it's March Madness. 
Anything can Anything happen. Anything can happen. Falcons come out in the press. Oh. They, Eastern Florida has taken Smith out. And Daytona State has taken Schley out. So I don't know if that's an assignment. We've done that, that before. Gonna be on the one Falcons goes out, we automatically Jay come out. We put somebody else in to give us a different look. We'll be watching that battle all Correction, day. Correction, 31. Just making adjustments. Small. That'll be her first, team second. That last foul was on Deja Small, her first and the team's second. 4.30 left in the first quarter. It's 6-5 Daytona State. Five on the shot clock here. Oh, Leilani Guyon pulling up and knocking down. Leilani here. Guyon. <laughs> Guyon, a freshman from Orlando, averaging 6.1 points in 16 games this year. Eastern Florida had to go deep into the shot clock for that one, though but they really did not look too stressed about it. Oh, great take here from the guard, Shayla Bowie. Shayla Bowie. Team captain, team second leading scorer. Guy on with a nice entry pass to the post. But Imputu not there, unable to get it to go. Instead, now going to the line is in Gorka. Uh, that foul's going to be on the Titans. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders. That'll be her Caitlin first. Caitlin Sanders picks up the foul first. for the Falcons. In Gorka, the Central Conference Player of the Year. Third in the nation in total offensive rebounds. Her 13.3 rebounds per game is fourth in the country. She had 15 double doubles Correction. this year. That That's second foul best was in on the Falcons, history. Number 11, Kiara Wheeler. That is her first. Team's third. All right, had the fouls there on, reversed. It's 11, Kiara Wheeler. Mm. Bowie not able to connect with that shot. Turns around and tries to set up for a defense against Caitlin. Falcons picking up their man at the half. Well, Smith back in now. No, no Schley in there to guard her. She gets the rebound off the missed shot. Nice find. Oh, Omar too much. And the rebound can't follow either from Mputu. Again, Eastern Florida all over the backboard. Not able to come up with a rebound, but very active. Hands everywhere. Nice ball movement here by the Falcons, getting it inside. But then it's blocked from him by Mputu. <clears throat> Up the floor goes Sanders. Oh, nice little step through. Just a little off balance though on the shot as it's rebounded by Burke. She pushes up the floor for Daytona State. Deep three. That's Schley. Schley is back on Smith. Gardner face, face to face. <clears throat> and they're having a conversation. Oh, nice spin move from Mputu, oh. but She's looking Wheeler getting, getting back at her from the block on the previous side of the floor. Oh, that should oh. have been a foul. Yes. Mputu went straight through her. <laughs> no foul, though. And it's into the game for the Falcons. Out of number two, Shayla Bowie, and number 22, Jemiah Bryant.
Nice little handoff back to the ball handler who threw it in. Six on the shot clock. Still moving the ball around. Tough take there. That was the last second. Denea Mackey is going to go to the line for the Falcons. And that foul is going to be on the Titans. Number 12, that is on Moriba Putu. Putu. That'll be her first. Team second. That'll be her first. Interesting stance here on the foul line. More towards the elbow. Yeah, she's really far over to the right. Well, we noticed that yesterday too. Some, yeah. of, the, some of the men were doing that same thing, but if it goes in. You can shoot anywhere in that half circle. Yeah, whatever works. It's just. You know, we don't see the granny shot anymore, though. <laughs> it's not as common. No. Man, looking for a foul there, they don't get it. She was pinballed all over the place, but no call. But it's stay Eastern Florida's ball. There's the mm -hmm. foul call now, and... And Gorka is going to head to the line to shoot for the Titans. I'm sure younger people are like, Granny shot, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> that foul's going to be on the Hoosiers? Falcons number 22, Jamiah oh, yeah. Bryant. Yes. That'll be her first. Semi-pro. Semi-pro, yep. Does there it there, you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, I worked Headed with to the uh, line for the Titans, one of the number young ladies 15, from the high school. Trying to get her to get a Granny shot. Okay. Earlier this year, yeah, she didn't have the strength to get it all the way up there, so we... Worked on different methods. Did that work for? Whatever works, I'm always with it. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, it counts the same if it goes in the basket. Yes, sir. And Gork is a transfer from Independence Community College in Kansas. She played in the NJCA National Tournament last year. Well, she makes both of the free throws here and gives the Titans the lead again at 11. That last foul is on Jemiah Bryant for the Falcons. We're approaching the final minute of the first quarter. It's a one-point game. And now we got a loose ball steal. Smith pushing the ball up the floor, finding Sanders. She's trying to push Smith on to the other side, here's DeJesus. Oh. Nice, oh, mm -hmm. tried to get the back door just a little bit behind. It's stolen by the Falcons. A nice look, just uh -huh. a bad pass. Yep. Got a double high screen, bull set, or horn set. Trying to get it back down low to Wheeler. She turns too much off the backboard there. Shot clock's off, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Beaumont down in to Ngorka. She kicks it out to DeJesus. And she's not going to find the bottom of the net there as Bowie pushes it up. Five on the game clock. They got to get a shot off. Oh. And Schley just a little too much as it bounces off the backboard. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, Eastern Florida up 11 to 10 on the Daytona State Falcons. You're watching the 2022 FCSAA Region 8 Women's Tournament on Emerald Coast TV. We'll have the second quarter coming up for you in just a second. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Ah. 
Our broadcasting and supporting sponsors for this tournament. Floors.com is your premium online source for high quality flooring products delivered to your home or next project. That's floors.com. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Northwest Florida, contact John Lavin with Beach Group Properties where experience wins. And Florida Power and Light, serving the communities across Florida and a proud sponsor of this FCSAA tournament. All right, start of the second quarter about to happen, and we got a one-point game here between the number two and number seven seeds. So far, a little slow start, I think, to both uh, teams. Kind of saw the same thing yesterday in the first men's game, but... I'm sure it's going to start picking up here as we get going. Here's a steal from Wheeler. Sanders makes a bad pass. The Falcons pushing it up the floor. Schley on the wing. Mm. Too much there as it rattles off the rim. Birch Rebe with the rebound. Rebounded, though. Gives it to Wheeler. And then she's going to be fouled by DeJesus. Kiera is the team's leading scorer, rebounder, and field goal percentage and shooter. Top 25 Jesus. in the state in That'll scoring. Be her first. Team's first. In fact, she's top 25 in the nation in offensive boards, too. In the nation. That's accomplishment. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Six double doubles on the year. She's increased in five out of four major statistical categories during conference play. One made bucket there for Wheeler on the line. We have a tie ball game in the second quarter. The Falcons have gone. Well, they're still sticking with Schley on Smith. Almost looks like a matchup zone. Yeah. But here's a bucket anyway from Putu. Laura Iba, 2-2. So first of the game. You see Eastern in their zone. And now a deep shot from Burke. She can't get it to fall. And Schley almost got broken in half there on that rebound. She hits the ground. That foul is going to be on the Titans. The number not zero, happy with Shikaria the call. Smith. That'll be her first, team second. I don't know. She was going up for the rebound, and both of her hands got pulled back, and she was still going forward. Oh, oh bad deal. pass from the inbounds. It's stolen from Ngorka up to Smith. And there's two for Shadaria Smith. Smith. Nice fourth meeting between these two teams from the Central Conference. Champions and the runners up. Oh. And the last game that they played, it was much closer, 70 to 58 at Daytona State Eastern. Deep game. three there Beaumont. from Beaumont. And we got a timeout called by Tron Griffin. You see the replay here. Sanders hands it off, and Beaumont goes deep. And now it's an 18 11 lead for the Titans. We're going to take a break as well. Don't go anywhere, folks. You're watching the FCSAA Region 8 Women's Tournament on Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. All right, coming back in, it's there's a quick timeout there by Tron Griffin as Eastern Florida Started to go on a little 7-0 run. They've changed up to a zone, like you were saying, Coach. They're a 1-2-2 two, two set up right now. Defense! 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 Defense!
Ah, missed shot here. It's brought in, though, by Sanders. She pushes up the floor. Coach, I've been speaking all, all night about the uh, activeness oh, there's of Eastern Florida. Gorka wide open off the screen. Nobody was over there to recover off the, off the roll. Great find from Sanders to Gorka. Coach, you were saying? I was saying how the activeness from Eastern Florida on the glass, when you look at the rebound count, Eastern Florida with 14 rebounds and Daytona with 12. So it's still an even count, but it's just the busyness that Eastern Florida ladies have. Oh. May have gotten away oh. with one there. Got away with one and then got away with another one underneath. Yeah, that, Falcons, like that could have hurt. Yeah, Falcons just can't find the rim. Yeah, they're the shooting inside. less than 18% right now. Oh, what a great find from Sanders to Mputu. Cutting to the rim. Cut to the bucket. Sanders was able to just drop it in. Putu leads the state in field goal percentage, hitting 58.5% of her shots. Again, if they're if, if they're all in the lane. Yep. Those are your high percentage shots. High percentage doesn't always mean a gimme, though. That is so true. <laughs> just, we just had that one right there. Yep. There are always plenty of bunnies missed in every, just about every game. Sanders again finding. Great ball movement. Absolutely. Love Back it. to Sanders. A little short there, but what a great ball movement segment there from Eastern Florida. Sanders gives it up to touch it again twice and get the shot off after everybody touches it on the floor. Down low on the other end is Daytona's Jemaya Bryant. And also on Daytona's behalf, that was a nice box out when Eastern Florida did put up their shot. That's their first field goal of the second quarter. Oh. Late foul call there. I think the ref is trying to get the whistle in to make that call, but foul's going to go against Kamira Burks. That's her second foul, the team's first of the quarter. Wheeler checking back in the game for Daytona. To Jesus almost losing that pass. Gives the pump fake, drives into the paint, then kicks it back out. Five on the shot clock. Titans are going to have to get a shot off. Nice step through. Oh, tried to get the scoop up. Doesn't hit anything, but it doesn't matter. It falls into the hands of Schley, and the Falcons push the ball up the floor. We got to see a skip. Lay gets by her man and puts up the nice jump shot. Falcons trying to get it closer. A great note about Schley. She shoots every morning at 7 a.m. She runs two miles on the treadmill before practice. She maintains a 4.0. She's a president list kid. Those are the fun ones to coach, right? That's great. 110% effort in practice. Makes coaching fun. Coach's dream. Yes. I don't even know if you'd have to call it coaching. <laughs> <laughs> it's just working with. Yeah. <laughs> As in Putu for Eastern Florida. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Steps on the line is Casey. Mike, let me know if I'm pronouncing this right. Olkers. Number zero for Daytona State. Let me find that. Hold on. Correct. Fantastic. Just double checking. I knew that was right. <laughs> All right. Getting better at it, coach. <laughs> There's some toughies, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Almost with the pump fake, and then the Jesus is called with the travel. So maybe that was just for the mist. Yeah, I thought the, uh, the one before was. More of a travel. Yeah. But he found a way to make up for it. You know, 
Wheeler's go have, I've noticed she's been trying to go set screens, but she's not really hitting anybody. Oh. And then we got to travel here on Deja Small. But if you notice, Wheeler's got the, the biggest, widest body on the floor, and she's just kind of going to spots, and the guards aren't really using her to get open gonna, either. I was going to say that, Coach. Is it Wheeler that's not using the screen correctly, or is it the ball handler? Well, Wheeler looks like oh. she's ro rolling a little bit early, and the guards are too spaced out, so I think it's on both, both parties. Both parties, yeah. Smith with the miss, but a great rebound, offensive rebound oh, nice from the Titans. Kicks it over to Smith in the corner. She can't get it either. Here's Mputu with the strong rebound. Again, I, I talked to you about the activeness of Eastern Florida on the glass. Well, you know what these two remind me of, Mputu and Ngorka down low, is what we saw last year with Brown, Shelby Brown and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In uh, Pintu, Pintu at Pintu. Northwest yes. Florida. Shania Pintu. They had yes. that double down low tandem, and that's kind of what they Eastern Florida uses the same way. There's a screen you were looking for. And it gets them open this time. They actually used it, and there's a three. That's what happens when you use the appropriate or the screen appropriately. Coach, the thing I like about Wheeler, she gets so deep in the post yeah. when she's setting up. Yep. Oh. It's a tough night for her, though, having to guard Mputu and Ngorka. Yes. Beaumont pulled that from deep. That was the first tray for the Falcons. Oh. <laughs> Mputu just standing her ground as so she's That's going to be her second. Yeah. She's Denea. too small, coach. Yeah, Denea Mackey heading back to the line. That's what we were noticed earlier, the way she shoots her free throw, how far over to the right she is. Putu has to sub out. Mikey just called it her second foul. You see, MJ isn't taking that gamble that the guys were taking last night. Yeah, coaches, yeah, as coaches were willing to gamble, she's not willing to gamble today. If you got more depth on your bench, you can leave one of your better players out there with two before the half. But if you're stuck around six or seven players, you need to take them out and make sure you save them for the second half. There's a trap. Oh, Sanders out. Of and that was... Blessing Oko with the trap and the deflection out of bounds. Well, I mean, you got 5-5 five, five trying to get it over 5-10. Right. Out of a trap. And this is, by the way, a, a true 5-5, five, five, unlike what was wrong <laughs> in the uh, media book yesterday for the 5-5. Five, five that was my hits. first thought. Yeah. First thought when it was announcing the ladies at the beginning. Yeah. They had two 5-5 five, five guards, and oh, the ladies are 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Nice pass, great timing oh. there from Smith to De, De Jesus as they knock it down as the shot clock expired. De Jesus from Portugal, transfer from Northwest Florida. Oh. They get it inside to Wheeler. De Jesus was playing behind her. Coach Baker not, does not like that call at all. Art trying to plead. Too much. Boy, with four points so far, she averages 11.2 a game, but against ranked opponents, she's averaging 13.6 as she elevates her game based on the opponent. So we spoke last night about the bright lights. Mm -hmm. She steps up in the bright lights. She enjoys the stage. They call her a team energy bug. She can do it all. The well, Falcons are showing a 2-2-1 press, but they're just falling back into a man. Oh, 
a little moving oh. screen there from Smith, but it doesn't matter. Sanders turns the ball over anyway. She lost a handle down there. The dribble got a little too loose on her. Well, they're definitely guarding that three-point line against Sanders. She did have a three in the opening quarter, but they've defended her behind, beyond the arc. Oh. The deflection here from Ngorka gives the Titans the ball back. Down to DeJesus, over oh, to Ngorka shot. again, and then she's going to be fouled by Bowie. Rapalucci in Gorka, the freshman from Spain at the line for the Titans, misses the first. Central Conference Player of the Year, averaging a double-double. And missed the second. They were perfect from the line up until then. <laughs> yeah, she had attempted all four of their previous free throws. Oh, nice drive and find to mm. Wheeler's just a little too hard off the glass. And then oh, an, an off the ball foul on DeJesus. Trying to establish herself a little too strong. That's her second. You know, Eastern Florida went on their little run when they had that 1-2-2 two, two press, or a uh, half-court zone, but they've kind of gone away from it, went back to man, and it's allowed Daytona to stick around. Da Daytona just can't knock down the shots that they need. Sanders gets the rebound. We're at 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's a pull-up jump shot. That mm. comes up short for Guyon. Nice pivot turn from Slay. Back to Mackey. Back to Slay. Mm. Too much there. Sanders tried to turn oh. ahead half court, but is stolen by Burks. She attacks Rim, stops. Should have just gone straight up with it. Yeah. 15 on the game clock. They yeah, got plenty of time out. for one. Yep. Now you do. Down, just get a bucket. Game clock's off. Smart decision. Five left, and here's Wheeler pull up, and ah. it's an air ball. Schley got it though, and it's called foul. for a foul. And she is. I think she, they whistled. They yeah. did right before the right before the clock, and she's gonna go to the line to shoot. I guess the question will be, did she get fouled before the horn yes, went off? She, she did. did. Absolutely. It sounded like it. Yeah. She did. It was whistle horn. She got the rebound. Was ready to go right back up. And she was going up too. And got hacked. I think this is absolutely the right call. This might be uh, replay worthy here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she did too. And coming over. No, no. I, I think they agreed. Just go ahead and shoot. Yeah. 0.2 seconds on the clock. I, I absolutely think that's the right yeah. call. Yeah, the only question I would, be, would the have time. specifically, right, the time. Exactly. But because I heard the whistle before I heard the horn. I agree, yeah. Mm. Got to take advantage of this. At least, yeah, you got to get one. Make it a two-possession game before the half. Mm. And she can't. 26-19. So it doesn't hurt Florida, Eastern Florida in any way except the foul. But it is halftime now, and the Titans are up on the Falcons 26 to 19. And now a word from our broadcast and supporting sponsors. Floors.com is your premium online source of hardwood flooring, tile, luxury vinyl, and waterproof flooring. They offer free flooring and wall covering consolations for your next remodel or new build. Contact them today at Floors.com. That's floor, double Z.com. 
If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Northwest Florida, contact John Lavin with Beach Group Properties, where experience wins. And Florida Power and Light, serving the communities across Florida and a proud sponsor of this FCSAA Region 8 Women's Tournament. You're watching Emerald Coast TV. We're going to be back in 14 minutes for the start of the second half and first half highlights. It's 26-19 Eastern Florida up on Daytona. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here. Inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here.
All right, welcome back to Northwest Florida State College here in Niceville as we get ready for second half action. Let's take a look at some of the numbers from the first half. As Daytona State College hopes to shoot the ball a little bit better, they struggled at 21.4% for the half, 6 of 28 from the floor, including 12.5% from behind the arc. And in the first half, they were outscored in just about every column. That shot in the paint, no good by a Jesus. But uh, points in the paint, 14-8 Eastern Florida State. Points off for turnovers, 9-3 Eastern Florida State College, 6-2 in second chance points, and 8-4 bench points. So guys, I guess in a way, the Falcons have to feel pretty good that they're only trailing here by seven. Yeah, what you said, Mike. Yep. <laughs> I agree. The stats yeah. said it all. I didn't even really have to say anything. But <laughs> That's right. I say the points off turnovers and the points in the paints is really where you see the difference. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, you got to feel good that, that you're not the, really trailing the shooting, by too much I mean, more. Considering the fact they shot 21.4% for the half and they're only down seven as well. Yeah. Here's a steal up the floor. Sanders to Smith, too hard off the glass, but rebounded. Beaumont with the hustle to get out of the rebound. And then a deep three, too far to the right of the rim. And then another steal, this time Smith to Sanders. The other way around, and there's two points. Seven points for the freshman, Caitlin Sanders. A nice little guard, Tim. Yeah, we got a timeout on the floor. It'll be called by Tron Griffin. It is a 30-second timeout. So we saw Eastern Florida go on their little run when they went into their 1-2-2 uh, half-court zone. Haven't gone back to it since, but they got two quick steals in the first minute and a half, and they got two points out of it. Daytona, though, on the other hand, they need to get their inside game working. They keep throwing some of these shots too hard off the glass, and it's just bouncing right off. <clears throat> so if they can get some buckets, they can get right back in this thing. Eastern Florida, however, I want to see if they go back to that 1-2-2 two, two at some point in this game. Maybe try and go on a little run and, and get it done. Mikey spoke about how Wheeler for Daytona has a standing in the national ranking. <clears throat> You're saying they need to get their inside game going. They get Wheeler posted up deep inside, kick it inside tour, and you know, she get a couple of looks. Their defense is gonna have to collapse. Eastern Florida will give up those threes. Yeah, she, she had a career high 32 points at Indian River. She's got no field goals in this game. So she's capable of putting up a bunch of points. Right now, Wheeler with only one point for the night. Schley taking it in, got hit, but no foul call there. It's rebounded by the Titans. Sanders up to Beaumont, down to DeJesus. She puts the spin move on and gets the bucket. Nice shot. Anna Carolina DeJesus. If anybody's out there wondering, it is DeJesus. <laughs> Straight from the babe's mouth. So we're going to go along with that. 30 to 19 now is your score. I know we're having some technical difficulties on your screen, but we will continue to keep you updated. 745 left in the third quarter. Here's a skip pass from Wheeler all the way out to, is that zero? Yep, Casey Okers. She's her three-point specialist. She showed it right there. She was a state champion at Spruce Creek High School in Fort Orange. Oh, nice down low this time to Smith, but she can't get it. Instead, it's going to be in Gorka with the rebound finish. Now back with Daytona's ball. Let's see if they can get the ball back inside. We just spoke on it. Get the ball into Wheeler. She just commanded a double team. Got the skip across. And she's had 13 double-digit performances this year, in addition to that 32-point game career high I mentioned. Hmm. Travel called on that offensive attack. Denae Mackey. Jennifer. 
Oh, did Jesus receive an inside pass and then just, oh, missed the cutter. Gave up the pass a little too late. Ball just now turned over. All right, here goes Schley, kicking it back out to Mackey. Now they're gonna slow it down a little bit. And Schley pulls up, too far off the left side of the rim this time. And Sanders gets the ball from Ngorka. And Beaumont, another deep three for her. Her second of the game, she hit one in the second quarter. It's 35-22, just under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Eastern Florida starting to go on their run. Both teams right now shooting in 20th percentile from the three. Mm. And here's Casey Okers on the other end for three. She's 26.3% from behind the arc, but she's made two, and that's above her average of 3.1 points per game. Sanders drives baseline and gets the bucket to go. Now we're starting to see some back and forth play between these two teams. Coach, first half we were talking about what we were looking for for the type of play. We had a little half court action. We had up and down transition. Now coming out the second half, we're right back to the transition game. Falcons need to try to get Bowie and, Bar and uh, Burks involved again. It was a nice stacked setup. Mm. The shot's too much for Okers and underneath. No foul call for Bowie, but it will stay Falcon ball. Right now you look out there, you see a lot of panting going on. Five minutes left in this quarter. It's been a lot of up and down transition. Should be a baseline throw in. Timeout. Media timeout. There was 5.06 on the clock when the whistle blew, and then all of a sudden it went down to five. So under five, five and under, we go to a media timeout, and so will we. 37-25 Eastern Florida is now up on Daytona State. You're watching the FCSAA Region 8 Women's Tournament on Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here, inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Floors.com is your premium online source for high quality flooring products delivered to your home or next product. That's FloorsDoubleZ.com. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Northwest Florida, contact John Lavin with Beach Group Properties where experience wins. Florida Power and Light, serving the communities across Florida and a proud sponsor of this FCSAA tournament. Thank you for your sponsorships. Good job. All right, back into the action we go. Falcons ball underneath. Under 15 in the shot clock. Oh, I thought that pass was tipped from Eastern Florida. But I guess it was a bad pass. No deflection. <laughs> Oh, that's a little bit of a moving screen there, right? Yeah, we've seen a couple of those not get called. Here's DeJesus on the shot attempt, but a whistle blown first for a three-second violation. Falcons getting the ball in quick, pushing it up the floor. <clears throat> oh. 
getting the ball inside to mm. Wheeler, but she goes up, she loses it, tries for a second attempt, gets a third attempt, and that one doesn't fall either, and it's tipped out and they'll stay blue ball. Both groups of these ladies active on the backboard. Rebound count 29-26 in Eastern Florida's favor. Yeah, big difference though is those, that assist count, 11 for Eastern Florida sharing oh, yes. the ball. Mm. And four for Daytona. Sanders comes up with the steal here. She pushes up to Beaumont, wing three, and give her another. That's three in a row for Beaumont. Coach, I believe Guyon got a piece of that uh, shot on the other end. Yeah, which made it fall into Sanders' hand. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. she makes the basket. Shayla Bowie wasn't even looking. She drives in here on Sanders. And as she hits the floor, the ball goes in. Shayla's really upped her game from her freshman year. She's tripled and doubled her stats in every major category. Team Tr captain. Trust in the process. <laughs> Putting in the work. Her first points of the second half. She now leads her team with eight. Triple your numbers from your first year. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody that's working in the offseason. She says she's a team captain. Oh, this ball's tipped, but it's still recovered by Eastern Florida. Sanders throws up a three, and she gets it to go. Casey <laughs> knocking it down. Her second of the game. She's got seven of her 12 here in the uh, third quarter. I like her as a guard, too. She, she's always got her head up, dribbling, looking to make the pass. But, man, when she gets the ball, she's going to fire away and score, too. She's made solid plays. Mm -hmm. Wheeler from, oh, nice right. jumper from Wheeler. That's her first, the first field goal of the game. That's what I thought. I had, we had been calling her name. Yeah. She's gotten the ball a ton down low, just hasn't been able to connect. Yes. This one was actually outside the paint. Good D there on yeah. Jesus. But too much as Mputu cuts inside the paint and scores. They're going to have to find some way to get a stop, put themselves back in it. Yep, that's. That's the right call. Charge. The guards, when, if you're a guard and you go in and you throw up a shot off balance and start spinning and turning, refs aren't ever going to give you that. Now guys, it's obvious that the Titans have put the foot on the gas. They've got as many points in this third quarter as Daytona scored in the entire first half. 19 points in this third quarter. And no sign of let up. Casey back to Beaumont. She hit three, misses this one, but it is rebounded by Guyon. She gets hit in the air. No foul call, but gets the bucket. These ladies are hooping. Guard misses again. That's Mackey. She can't get it on the second attempt. See, this is what's been killing the Falcons. No, they get a lot of second and third chances, but they're not going right. in. Yes. To Jesus misses. Mm. <clears throat> and Putu tried to shoot, but on the retaliation, fouls instead. That will be her third. Just under two minutes to go in the third quarter. It's 47-30. Eastern Florida has extended their lead. They got a jump ball. Mackey tried to split the two defenders going in. Somehow. I don't know if it's my angle, but comes up with a jump ball. Again, Coach, yesterday you said angles changes everything. Oh, that could have been a jump ball, too. Said it's a missed shot. Burke still rebounds it, though. Shot clock resets at 20. A 
Yeah, two on one. You got to be able to take advantage of that. All right, now we're at five seconds on the oh, shot clock, the and Wheeler gets called for the travel. Tried to put a spin move on to create space, but picked up a pivot foot a little too soon. Falcons are showing full court man. 14 turnovers by Daytona. 14 turnovers and five assists. Yeah. Nice decision there by Sanders. She drives in, kicks it back out to Beaumont to Guyon. Eastern, under a minute to go. Eastern Florida State had seven and seven in the first half. Sanders turns the corner, but Schley is there to get the block. And she's going to push it into the corner to Burks. Burks out to Wheeler at the top of the key. Big three. Not going down, though. Schley she rebounds. Travel. Thought so, yeah. A lot of steps taken on that <laughs> rebound. Calling for the double horn set. Horn, yeah. Oh, I thought that was a travel, too. And that one. Oh, now we got another jump ball, and it's going to go back to Eastern Florida with 18.8 .8 on the shot on the game clock. Shot clock has been turned off. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Sanders to Smith. Good defense shown there. Oh, oh nice what a pass. What a pass to split the defense. Right down into Gorka. Man, that was the smallest window you could have. But Smith makes it look easy. And Gorka with the finish. It's now a 19-point lead for Eastern Florida up on the Falcons of Daytona State. We got one more quarter to go. It's 49-30. You're watching the FCSAA Region 8 Tournament on Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Floors.com is your premium online source of hardwood flooring, tile, luxury vinyl, and waterproof flooring. We offer free flooring and wall covering consultations for your next remodel or new build. Contact them today at floors.com. That's floor, double D, Z.com. In that third quarter, 23 points for the Titans. They had 26 in the first half. Yeah, just a much better impressive showing offensively. I think that's what Coach Baker wanted from her group, settle down, let's do what we do. And they came out and showed it there with a big third quarter performance. Now Daytona's got 9.55 left to try and get that lead down. But they're going to have to score some bu buckets. That's the way there to start it. Shayla Bowie. She's got 10 now. First player double figures for the Falcons. So from a coaching standpoint, Eastern Florida able to come out and do what they need to do in the first half, but then able to come out in the second half and bring the same energy, if not more, than they had the first half. How would you like that? Well, here's Schley. So they needed points. That's five in a row in the first 20, 40 seconds of this quarter. And if they can just get a couple of defensive stops, they're going to be right back in this thing. They need one from Schley. They needed one from Bowie. Now they need a defensive stop from this great offensive passing by the Titans. They it's also got to get Wheeler involved. Good job defending that double team. 
I like the guard play, extending the floor, going all the way down into the corner, and then reversing it back around. And there's Burks getting two more. 7-0 run here to start the quarter. And she did not score in the third quarter. She's got nine now. She's another one that steps up her game. 11.6 per game, but against ranked opponents, 13.8. Hey, Wheeler fouls there, but I take that foul all day long. She had to come over a little late on the help side, but she's not going to let anything easy happen. You got to earn it at the line. That's only her second foul, too. So far, that's my favorite name of the tournament. Rapalucci and Gorka. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, she comes up uh, short on the second. Look like she rushed that one. <clears throat> Burks. I just saw Burks about to attack the change of speed. Yeah, no one was there to stop her, so she just said, all right, fine, I'm going to go by and do it myself. Change, change of speed will get you every time. That's 11 for her. Kaylin never able to corral that. Smith with the miss. Schley with the rebound. Chance to get it to single digits. Eight minutes left in the game. Burks to Wheeler. Bowie being patient. Getting it down oh, low. Skip. Yep. That was the whole game plan there for Eastern Florida, the help side. Yep. And here's Beaumont to Smith, and she gets two. Very good patience defensively there for Eastern Florida. To sit and wait for to it. To sit and just wait. That's how you, you entice them in, you trap them, and you set that trap and you go. And that's exactly how that works. We're going to take a break real quick. It's 52-39 Eastern Florida up on Daytona State. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here, inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Floors.com is your premium online source for high quality flooring products delivered to your home or next project. That's FloorZ.com. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Northwest Florida, contact John Lavin with Beach Group Properties, where experience wins. Florida Power and Light, serving the communities across Florida and a proud sponsor of this FCSAA tournament. We thank you for your sponsorship. Seven twenty-eight left, 52-39. Falcons got on a little nice run here to start the fourth quarter. Mm. See if they can continue. And we got a jump ball here. Burke met with a trap as she got to the block, mm -hmm. trying to penetrate. Like you said, Coach, ended up with too many hands on the ball. Jump ball. Well, and if you notice, the Falcons have been trying to get it to the blocks pretty much every single time on offense, whether it's to Wheeler down low or, or their guard play. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you bring the help over, you can get those traps all day long. Mm. Here's a bad pass from uh, Beaumont as it's too much for N'Gorka to bring in. But something like this needs to get the Falcons going to give them the momentum that they need. We're more than just a place. Got to be able to make buckets when you get the turnovers. Oh, the Berg's had the post inside locked. Triple teams no. right into the hands of Ngorka, literally. Sanders pushes it, uses her speed to get around right back to Ngorka. Man, she sees some things out there that other people just can't. And she hustles back and gets on deep. Oh, they got, with the idea of penetrating, you have to have an out, either dribble out or kick out. 
you can't just go inside and just at the last minute look for a bail. On that penetration right there, that's how it looks. Shayla Bowie didn't have a plan as she went inside. A jump ball there again, and this is going to stay with the Falcons. Eastern Florida collapses like nobody's business. Yeah, they do. I like the help. <clears throat> yeah, if you can play good help man defense, it is very hard to get the points that you want, especially on a team that likes to drive. You're going to keep everything outside. That's what's going on right now. And if you're having a bad shooting night from outside the arc, you're playing in the defense's, defense's hand. Mm -hmm. Ah, they didn't know. Shot right clock there. violation. Great defense. God, I can't wait till they bring a shot clock into the high school. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Oh, don't say that, Mike. I want it to happen so bad. It's been talked about for years. <laughs> We're getting close. It'd be so good for them. Here's a deep shot from Beaumont. She's had two bad possessions coming down here, a bad pass and now a bad shot. I broadcast a region final, Hawthorne boys basketball, which made it to the final four. Game went to overtime. Hawthorne got the tip. They held it for the entire four minute overtime period and played for one shot. Four minutes. Yep, for four minutes. Oh, that's boring basketball. It is. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I want a shot clock. I just don't know if it's going to happen. At least on the varsity level. Can you just imagine four minutes of stall ball? Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I've done oh. it before. <laughs> I mean, like you said, <clears throat> use every book or every tool you yes, have you, to you, your advantage. Yes. I've done it. If the coach Jeez. is listening, he knows exactly who he is that I did it to, and we won. <laughs> Not fun, I didn't want to, but at the time, that was the only option we had. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Whatever exactly. works. Yeah. Jeez. So we got a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break ourselves. 52-39, Eastern Florida up with 529 left in the contest. You're watching Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here, inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here. Back into the action. It's a 13-point lead for the Titans. Current 9-3 run, though, by the Falcons. And Pati can't get it. Excuse me, and Putu. One screen for Burke, two screens for Burke. She comes across the top. Another two screens. But the screeners are always the ones open. This ah. one gets out to Oko. And she's too strong with it. Falcons are trying to do a full court Travel. press. Yep. They're just a little too slow on the ball movement from Eastern Florida. However, travel here on Imputu. Rapalucci looked a little gas right there. Okay. Coach Baker, though, been doing, has been doing a great job rotating out in Gorka, Imputu, and to Jesus. And it there's just no answer for the Falcons down low. They, they just have Wheeler. Oh. <laughs> this foul is going to go against Caitlin. Got a little too handsy. Caitlin Sanders. Her third. Number 
And then Wheeler, their tallest player at 6'1". Several players above 6'1 six, six or taller for the Titans. Oh, a nice little step back there from Mackey. She creates space and gets it to go. Her first field goal of the game. Well, she's done a great job of Dassa travel, handling the ball and controlling it. But you're right, first field goal of the game for Mackey. Skip pass. Four minutes oh. left in the ball game. I like the defense, though. Me too. I oh, oh, yes. Right off the foot of Mputu. Pressure on the ball handler. Pressure on the ball handler. Makes it hard for passes. Also, it gets, you can get in the viewing sights of the receiver of the pass, make it difficult for them to make the catch. Wheeler inside. Oh, it's yeah. just not rolling falling. around. It just, yeah, she just can't get it to go. Good luck. <laughs> she's top 10 in the state in field goal percentage, but she's had a rough one today. Only one field goal. Burks pulling up deep, and she gets a big three for the Falcons. Wow, she had seven points in the first half. She's got seven here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, time to step up. Your team's down, now only down eight. And the Falcons have gone back to Schley guarding Smith, and the other four just playing a pretty much a shell defense. <laughs> Sanders gets open, oh, though, splits nice. the defenders wow. with a little pump fake, pass fake, and a score. You see her step through. One, nice little step two, through. and boom. Right mm, almost got the bucket to fall, but instead, Bowie falls to the ground, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. Caitlin Sanders picks up her fourth foul. Bowie two for three from the line today. the second one to fall. Back to nine, single digits. <clears throat> 2.42 left and the Falcons are going full court press. So yesterday, fellas, we had a, a tendency of the lower seeded team getting the uh, slow start. This one's off the hands of the Titans. It'll go back to the Falcons. Are we gonna? Are we gonna have a regular look today? You say yesterday the the eight seed was coming out on fire. The four seed come out on fire. And even today, the seven seed was only down one at the end of the first quarter. Oh, a nice block from Mputu. Are we looking for that same regiment today? In the last three or four minutes yesterday, uh, the lower seeds came back and made it a close ball game. Right now, mm. the Falcons can just. I think just the difference might be the, uh, the Northwest Florida Hillsboro game. I don't know if I see that being a, uh, sure. a close one. But we'll see. That's why they play the game. Two minutes to go. Falcons down nine. And Wheeler's going to go to the line to shoot from the uh, two free throws. She only has three points on the in this contest, but she is trying to get active. And it's also only the second time she's been to the line. Exactly. She's one of two 
from the foul line. Well, Mputu just picked up her fourth. So you got Sanders and Mputu on the floor or for the Titans with four fouls. Wheeler shoots 62% from the free throw line. Average is 12.8 a game. Mm. And four today for Wheeler. Big call there. It's gonna go to, to the Titans. Running and running jump right now. Well, they got to get the ball back. They need it. You got to have possessions. If they don't get a steal, they're going to have to foul. Sanders in the corner for three. Got it. That's a dagger. I like her. 15. Like we said earlier, she's making smart decisions. Her court vision. Yeah. Those windows that she's finding. Burks on the other end for two. I'd just start fouling if I was the Falcons right now. You got to get the ball back. Not right there, though. Not, yeah, not in the act of shooting. <laughs> Burks tried something, didn't work, doesn't matter. Rapalucci in Gorka with the bucket. Oh. And then Nick Mackey loses it out of bounds. This is where it'll start. Can start getting away from you. 61 seconds left. Titans are up 11. to bring it back within single digits. Putting forth the effort that you are. Then to just watch it slowly just slip right back out of your grips. It's heartbreaking. You know, I mentioned Sanders earlier in the broadcast had hit seven three-pointers in a game three times this year. One of those games was against Daytona. Seven of nine shooting. So it's not like they don't know she can shoot. Right. They, they, be, they tried to take away the three-point line in the first half. Oh, right? wow. There's two more points. This is the Jesus. I thought the Falcons should have oh, no. Oh, and then the Sanders turnover. with the steal. Yes. Misses that bucket. But like I was saying, I thought the Falcons should have been fouling. They wasted so much time. Timeout called, though, by Daytona State. You see Baker, Coach Baker, going over there to Caitlin Sanders saying, you stole the ball, why are you going up to shoot? Just pull it out. <laughs> we got 30.8 seconds. This one's pretty much a, a lock, though, for Eastern Florida. Yeah, and unlike last year, when they lost to Northwest Florida State College in the quarterfinals, they're going to get a win here in the state tournament. Yep, no move on tomorrow. Game five of the women's tournament to play at six o'clock against the winner of our next game coming up, number three, Gulf Coast versus number six, Indian River. So stay tuned for that. Floors.com is your premium online source for high quality flooring products delivered to your home or next product project. That's floor.com. Oh, wow. Great defense there from Smith. Smith, Smith tried to run straight through that pass. <laughs> yeah, Shadaria Smith. She ran through the pass, the ball, and the official. Yes. The official almost held her in bounds. And the Falcons realize they have to put they points up, right? The, the time is gone. Here's Smith, Smith getting some revenge. She, she's getting determined to get that steal. And good sportsmanship from her helping yes. up. <clears throat> Bowie who fell. Knowing that this contest is over. And that's it, folks. Sanders just going to dribble it out. And Eastern Florida getting the, the win to go face the winner of Gulf Coast or Indian River tomorrow at 6 o'clock. MJ Baker and her crew. Getting a big win. And 
Next up, like we said, number three, Gulf Coast versus number six, Indian River. And a word from our broadcast sponsors. Floors.com is your premium online source for high quality flooring products delivered to your home or next project. That's FloorDoubleZ.com. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Northwest Florida, contact John Lavin with Beach Group Properties, where experience wins. Florida Power and Light, serving the communities across Florida and a proud sponsor of this FCSAA tournament. Well, that'll do it for the first game. Join us next in about 20 minutes or so where we have the Gulf Coast Commodores take on the Indian River Pioneers. For game number one, Eastern Florida has defeated Daytona State. I'm Blake White alongside Essex Rhodes and Mike Rideout and our production crew for Emerald Coast TV. Also, shout out to the seventh period basketball at Destin High School. We see y'all. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. You're watching Emerald Coast TV. We're more than just a place. We're the starting line for your career, your next chapter, your future. There's no limit to what you can achieve at Northwest Florida State College. Artists, champions, leaders, hometown heroes all begin here. Inspiring generations to become something greater than themselves and moving our community forward. At Northwest Florida State College, futures begin here.